Hello friends, it's Daryl. Yeah, I'm here to say hi today and uh, tell you about a little something that I did this past weekend and share it with you just to maybe ease your concerns and share the information in case you're in a similar situation. I had a implantable heart rate monitor installed in my chest. It's called a loop recorder and they're quite tiny. They make an incision in your chest and put it under the skin. It monitors your heart rate, sends the information back to your doctor's office. Mainly it's used for, well in my case anyway, it's used for determining if I'm in an atrial fibrillation condition or not. And I really haven't had any major episodes in the last three years or so. And the medication has been doing well for me. The problem is the cardiologist explained to me that the longer you let it go, the more episodes you're going to have, the worse it's going to get, so to speak. And if you come up with a treatment plan and move forward with it, then you can usually get it repaired by a process called cardiac ablation. And the first step in that is getting the monitor put in so they can see exactly how often and how bad your current status of AFib is. My plan is to go ahead and get the procedure done later in the year and hopefully get off several of these medications I'm taking to treat the AFib. The implant of the loop recorder took less than 40 minutes from the time I arrived at the doctor's office to the time I walked out the door. The only pain involved was very similar to when you get a tooth filled and the dentist numbs it with the local anesthesia. That's the same thing. They put the local anesthesia in the needle just underneath the skin of your chest tissue, right? Right below the skin, not that deep. The shot lasts about 40 seconds. Feels like a little bee sting that, you know, hangs out for a while. And then it fades really quick. While they're putting the little loop recorder in, and here's a picture of what I have, the exact loop recorder that I have. And you can see just how small it is. And they put that in with a special tool. Once the incision's made, they just kind of push it right in. And then they glue you back together with super glue type material to seal the wound up. I think the wound they said was only, a, the incision was only about, I want to say, a half inch or three eighths of an inch long. Very small incision. This was after 24 hours. And it's already starting to heal. And this is after four days. The glue's already starting to come off. Okay, the procedure only took uh, about 40 minutes. And they give you an app for your phone. And throughout the day, the app will record your heartbeat. At different and then at a set time in the evening, I think they said usually overnight, it will upload that information to the doctor's office. It's pretty interesting. Fascinating technology. I guess you could say I'm bionic now. Except I don't think they've spent $6 million on me yet. Maybe before too long they might end up close to that. But so far, not that much. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you about today. If your doctor recommends this implanted loop recorder, it's really not a big deal. It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to be nervous or afraid of because it really doesn't hurt. It seems to heal up pretty quick. And you're going to get a benefit from being able to have a lot more monitoring of your overall heart health from it. And that's what I had to tell you about today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for now.